Good evening. Today I will show you a simple way to understand the relationship between sine, cosine, tan, and secant, cosecant, and cotan. Let's start between the both of them. Initially, they're all linked with the angle theta. And this is the notation of theta. And they're all related in a triangle. This triangle is called a tri uh, right angle triangle because this segment and this segment are separated by this angle and this segment and this segment are vertical and horizontally separated by 90 degrees angle which is also the right angle triangle. Uh, how do they both relate or how do these families relate to each other imagine imagine the 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 graph segments y and x here and here oh sorry x y have the origin zero at this point the curvature of the sine family sine family and the cosine cosine family are different not completely different but they're starting from a different tips or different points of origin the sine family starts from the zero outwards and the cosine family starts from the tip of the curve out outwards like like this So, what are so special between both of them and how do they relate with these ratios? Imagine they're limited by 1 and minus 1 unit of length from the y-axis. They're bounded by these two. We can then draw a circle from the curvature itself. As you can see, the origins are different in different locations from the circle. Zoom again. Here the origin is zero, and here the origin is at the center of the circle. Assume one is the distance of the radius itself. Let's draw a line which is the radius from the origin to the edge of the curve of the circle. See, imagine this is a continuation. Just, just imagine the continuation. Yeah, x, y, whatever. x, y, great. Now, as we can see, we have an angle theta between both of them, which is the same shape as these. If we drew a line downwards, we create a small right angle triangle, isn't it? Now, creating a small right angle triangle means that... Sorry. Yep. Creating a small right angle triangle means that we can have these ratios implemented now the first formula we have sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse what does this mean it means that it's the ratio between the opposite leg, uh, segment from the angle which is the opposite of the angle itself and the hypotenuse this segment then is called sine why not this segment is called sine because the cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse 
which is then we have common factor the cos the cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse ratio which is the opposite instead of this part we have this part and they are both separated with the angle uh, theta but it's in the opposite fashion where the sine theta is opposite and the cosine theta is adjacent which is beside it that's the, that's the meaning beside it now uh, since we, we have established these two equations imagine the one line instead of being just a number boundary we can we create it a line what we have here if we create a radius and drew it again we will have a new point over here and this point going towards the circle itself it will intersect with the circle the distance between them therefore is our tangent or tan for short it's the distance between the opposite and the adjacent of the bigger triangle with this as theta well, this theta and this theta are, say, are the same because you can see the radius over here, this radius and this radius. We can make this radius and this radius the same. If we took the same theta instead instead of like this, we can take it like opposite. You see, if we, if we flip it, we will have this ratio. Therefore tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent as we can see here it's like yeah with the angle theta yeah I think it's uh, obvious now the the other thing is the cotan cotan theta instead of of doing another line we just extend the radius having this point over here this is our cotan theta correct because we have the opposite families since they have this the opposite origin points there are opposites so we can assume that uh, the thetas are equal and uh, then in this case we'll have adjacent over opposite same distances same idea the same side but opposite ideas opposite angles because of opposite origin points what we are left with is let's throw the triangle again we have this triangle correct and we have our smaller triangle We have defined so far sine, which is this one, cosine, which is this part, tangent, which is this part, and cotangent, which is this part. Let's assume, yeah, it's this type. So we have there's there's a side left there is a side missing here this is let's say this is the radius itself so it's fine so we have these are defined and these are defined we have this segment and this segment are not yet defined this in the sign will be called secant secant theta which is equal to hypotenuse over adjacent and here is the cotan family which we call the cosecant or 
CSC theta is short, which is hypotenuse, sorry, hypotenuse over uh, opposite. What we conclude here is these families are opposite to each other. This one's here, this one's here, uh, this one's different than this one. Uh, the, the, the relationship between them, the origin are different, slightly backwards, but it's different uh, in, in, in families and in ideologies and, and uh, thinking methods between each other. We can see in these equations, hypotenuse, hypotenuse of our opposites are linked as opposites. Here, opposite of our hypotenuse, here, hypotenuse of our opposites which is the inverse between them we can see the hypotenuse of our adjacent and the adjacent of our hypotenuse are opposite between the cosine and secant and tan and cotan are opposites of each other and here you go sine and cosecant are opposite of each other secant and cosine are opposite of each other tangent and cotangent are opposite of each other Hopefully you understood and best of luck.